So uh, first off, my name is Lisa O'Regan and I'm here representing the project and the project team is here and they'll join me for questions at the end. So first off, our project, um, supporting transition, enhancing assessment feedback and first year using digital technologies. So this uh, project is all about feedback and it's all about feedback and first year. So for short, we call ourselves Y1 Feedback or Year 1 Feedback. Okay, so who's involved? So our partners are uh, the National Forum, obviously, our funders, um, Maynooth University, Athlone Institute of Technology, Dublin City University, and Dund Dundalk Institute of Technology. And we are also cluster partners as well. Okay, so what's the project about? So what the project aims to do is to identify and develop approaches for feedback in first year um, using digital technologies. And um, particularly we're looking at feedback approaches, feed forward and peer feedback for students. Um, I suppose overall um, the project will take a design based research approach in that um, uh, we will start from the literature um, and we will develop approaches from the literature what we see and then we will uh, develop case studies with them working with departments and then we will refine them um, through iterations through case studies working with people. So um, that's just a, an overview of how we'll work. Um, our plan, so overall what is the project going to do? So we, we've uh, three phases, phase one is year one, phase two and three is year two and we're currently about 25% way through um, in phase one. So we're going to establish the project, we're going to uh, conduct a current practice review to get a sense of what's happening on the ground because we don't, we don't really know what's happening on the ground in our institutions so the first thing was to do to see well what's the state of play and then to look at the literature, what is the literature saying? And the next stage then is to identify the approaches, um, to agree them and to plan the pilots with departments and to get uh, both staff and students involved. Once we've planned and are ready to go, we're going to pilot them and uh, refine them, the approaches. From there, we're going to develop the case studies and hopefully, we're hoping that these are going to be in video fo format so that it will be real practitioners sharing their experience. There will, be uh, there will be guides with them. And the final step would be to disseminate that and one of the ways will be a national symposium, okay, to share uh, practice. Okay, so that's an overview of the plan. So where are we now? So as I said, we're about 25% way through and uh, what we said we do, we, we have done, uh, maybe in a, a different order. Um, we've established the project, we've established the project team, um, we uh, have planned and conducted the current practice review and that is, uh, we'll be able to share some findings with you in a minute. We have established a web presence and uh, we're uh, planning the literature summary and we have a research assistant in place doing that. So um, challenges, uh, I suppose, challenges were the amount of work, I suppose, uh, in, in one way. Um, someone mentioned earlier ethics. Uh, uh, that was a challenge, not so much in the ethics applications themselves, it was an opportunity to get quickly into the project, but more the timeline, um, meeting uh, the different ethics application uh, committee deadlines and doing that very quickly, so we really had to set the round running. Um, just to say, in terms of establishing the project, we kicked off in, in uh, January, we, uh, met, um, we met face to face, after that we met weekly for the first six weeks and then we moved to bi-weekly meetings um, via, Sk via Skype. Um, so this is the, the team, um, so you can see myself, Mark Brown, Nuala Harding, Maura McGuire, uh, Jerry Gallagher, Geraldine and Elaine Walsh. So this is the team. So how we work, as I said, uh, we meet regularly, we, uh, sh uh, everything is on Google Docs, we share that. And I suppose from the start uh, we have had a, a very collaborative approach uh, and uh, with a great commitment from all the team which has uh, been a great help in, in meeting our targets. Okay, so um, our next outcome really is about I suppose developing the project web presence. Um, as I say, uh, we've shortened our title to become Y1 Feedback, so Year 1 Feedback. I suppose the logo represents what we hope this uh, project will, will achieve in terms of improving feedback dialogue for our first year students. So uh, we hope that the, uh, that the logo reflects that. 
Um, we've developed a web presence, um, which gives, if, you, if you'd like more information on our project, it's there. Ultimately, this will be a tool for dissemination, and we hope that the resources, the case studies that we develop will be sh shared here. So at the moment, it's probably uh, a skeleton of what it will become, and uh, uh, we will populate it as we, as we go along. Okay, we're also on, on Twitter and we would encourage you to follow us and as the pr project progresses there will be more going on. But we also want to hear from uh, people in our own institutions and, and nationally about the approaches they're trying. Okay, so this is where the bulk of our work has been in the first, uh, in the first phase. Um, we thought it was really important to start from a sense of where we're at and to get a real sense of uh, what is the experience for our students in first year and what is uh, the practice of our, our staff. And not so much to evaluate it, but to get an insight into it, a clearer idea. Um, so as I said, we want to get a snapshot how we did it. So what we, we decided the best approach to do this was to look at a, an online staff survey and uh, student focus groups. And um, the process started out with designing those, um, those survey instruments and um, seeking ethical approval at each of our institutions. Um, okay. So um, we are asked today to showcase our outcomes, so the, the, the best outcome I think that we can show is, is some of our data, so we are going to show, uh, share some of that with you. I would say that we are still analysing it in this preliminary, but uh, yeah, you should get a sense of, of what we found. Um, so what, what were our student focus groups? So basically, they, uh, we met with uh, first year class representatives um, of the, the current uh, cohort. and. Um, what we did was we, there was a focus group in each institution. Um, we partnered with the students' union in each, institu uh, in each institution, um, and they worked with us to get student involvement. Um, so the focus groups ran in April, and in total we had 36 uh, class reps involved across the uh, focus groups, so um, with a mix of disciplines all across. Okay, so everyone maybe wants to know what, what, what students uh, thought. So just to say, I'm just going to give you an overview today, very very high level, but uh, what were the ty type of things coming up? Um, what is very clear from students is that they really value feedback, and they definitely recognise its value for future learning and, and for progression. Um, a key theme that came out, or key words that came out, that came up uh, like a huge number of times was this idea of doing wrong and fixing, getting it wrong. Um, so we found this very interesting and it's something we'll explore further. Um, what we have found is that there is probably no consistent experience of feedback in first year for our students. We can't, um, some people, there are great um, accounts of uh, something that's coming to mind is the feedback woman or the feedback guy or they'll sit down and talk to you. There are great examples of feedback. So to start from that, um, there are also examples of maybe not getting feedback. Um, so it is definitely inconsistent and there are um, I suppose good and bad examples emerging. Um, what type of feedback are students getting? Well. It seems to be predominantly grades, or this is what the students are saying, and that our grades of brief comments, and predominantly in handwritten or, or, or given orally face to face, and this is the, the overall picture. Um, the timing, this is uh, very much, again, no consistent pattern here that we can see from the student data so far. Um, very much it may be uh, to do with lecture base, dependent on the lecturer, dependent on the tutor came up quite a lot, these type of phrases. Very much an acknowledgement of it depends on the class size. Students are very realistic or they seem to be about, well, it depends, you know, when I get the feedback will depend on the size of the group. Use of technology, it would seem to be low in the number of the evidence that we've got. So just to give you a very quick, uh, I meant to go back. So this is just an example, the idea of doing wrong. Okay, um, the idea of timing might take a while, but when you do get it, it's really good. Um, maybe doesn't come in time for the next assignment. Um, there's evidence of video being used. Um, they really liked that. 
Um, there's also frustration on the part of the students, and that's coming through also. Uh, they feel it's not being used, maybe, the use of technology. Okay, so what did the students say? We asked them, you know, how, how, how would you like feedback in, in first year? What, 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 do, what are your suggestions for change? So the biggest thing, or one of the key themes that came out for us is about consistency. Students would like consistency between modules, um, that they would get it in every module. They would like more than a grade, they would like comments, okay? Um, now obviously we have evidence that some of them are getting a lot of that, you know, that's a, but to their instances of not as well. Um, if something came up around part time, you know, that the, the lecturer may not always be there later when the module is over or when the assignments are going back, the idea of the part time. So these are just something for things to, for us to take into consideration when we're developing or identifying the, identifying the approach. And just to say, I, I should have said it, sorry, we did take a very much a kind of a, a grounded approach, like we, we use the literature and form the design of the surveys, but in terms of the data, we're very much taking the themes from the data. Um, so it's what they're saying. So staff. Okay, uh, so who do we, we, we need to talk to staff too. Uh, we talked to those who currently teach first year undergraduates. We developed the survey. It went out in May, June, and we had uh, 213 respondents. Um, from, we estimate the population is around 600. Okay, so what it's, what's the general picture for staff? Um, uh, that they would always or frequently provide feedback that it's predominantly handwritten or orally provided, which would match up with the student data, and that it is usually given between one and two weeks. This is, uh, so we, that is just a sense. So one of the things that we're looking to do is to leverage the potential of technology to get feedback to students, maybe different formats, quicker, you know, and to support those large numbers. So technology is the key thing. So what technologies were used to give feedback at the moment? Word was number one. I should do a competition here, what do people think? Email, Moodle feedback, Moodle grades, and to a much less other extent, Moodle quiz. Okay, so that's just a highlights. So we asked staff, so we asked students, you know, how, how, what they think, and we also asked staff, and we asked them to recommend approaches they've tried and worked. And number one, three minutes, okay, I really better go. Okay, face to face was number one. Detailed written feedback and one to one group or class discussions, and to a much lesser extent, rubrics and MCQs. Okay, so we asked them, what are the challenges? You won't be surprised by these. Numbers, time, workload, student engagement, attendance, and technology came last, which is potentially a good thing. <laughs> Here's just some of the things they said. A sense of frustration here was sometimes not students not engaging with the feedback, a sense that the best way to give feedback is one-to-one. -one. And a thing about the technology, uh, the partners all use Moodle and they came through that they found Moodle clunky. What were their solutions? Reduce the class size, <laughs> provide feedback close to stu student submission. This is somewhere we can maybe help. More training and training students on feedback. Okay, so takeaways so far. So how, how is this going to impact our, uh, our approach as we think about? So this is just very initial. But the thing that comes through is we need a conversation about feedback. It needs to be between staff and students about what feedback is and how it works. It Perception that technology takes more time came through a lot. This is something maybe we can address. Myth or reality, does it take more time to, uh, to use technology to give feedback? The technology is clunky. We need approaches that cope with numbers. This is the biggest thing that, come, that comes through. How can, we, how can we identify models that will help people get uh, feedback back to more numbers quicker. And the other thing is, how can we replicate face-to-face -face feedback discussions online? The face-to-face -face came through really uh, a lot. Okay, our literature review is ongoing. Um, we obviously started at the very start and we've now employed a research decision to carry it forward. And together with the current practice review and the literature review, this will inform the approaches. So our national impact, we are going to take this, uh, this frame, framework, it's also used in Australia, um, and we'll be focusing on our outputs, how we're impacting teaching practice, learning, and the project team. 
Just to say quickly, we are looking to bring on subject matter experts as advisors on the project, and we're also looking to maintain the relationship with the students' union and, and asking the incoming student union officers if they um, will become advisors. So it may be one or two meetings a year, which is to advise us on key stages. So what are the benefits? I hope they're clear already, but if not, what we're going to have at the end of this is research informed suite of technology enhanced approaches for first year. Okay, there will be a benefit to the entire sector and we will disseminate those. Now, there should be increased awareness capacity and take up of digital technologies to support assessment feedback practice. Some of what came back was we're not aware what's out there. We need more training in what's out there. So this is certainly something that our case studies and our approaches will address. And lastly, what we hope the end result will be will be an enhanced feedback uh, experience for first year students and more opportunities for feed forward. So that is a very quick overview. Uh, thank you for listening.